Hello, everyone. My name is Kaji Kikuchi. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this presentation. I'm very sorry that we cannot make a presentation in front of you this time. Today, I'll be showing you a general consensus of 5D Japan through a number of cases. First, I'd like to share our dental treatment proposition, which our 5D Japan has implemented. Of course, this proposition is applicable not only to 5D Japan, but also to all dentists in Russia and around the world. Let's look at our first case. Here, the right second premolar is a tooth stump and has no feral effect. Of course, we will not extract this tooth. So what should we do? I'll try to preserve this tooth through extrusion using an orthodontic appliance. A crown lengthening procedure was done after the orthodontic extrusion. So now you can see the feral effect for the subsequent prosthetic restoration. Afterwards, a final restoration was done. Let's look at another case. The lower right first molar had a root fracture and perforation, and could not be preserved. For this tooth, that could not be preserved, I considered the patient's age and the donor's side to determine whether tooth transplantation was possible. For this patient, I extracted tooth number 26, and transplanted number 18 in its place. I did the autogenous wisdom tooth transplantation. You can see on the x-ray that there is no more wisdom tooth. This is wisdom tooth. This is a follow-up photo five years after the transplantation. I did not do root canal treatment because the wisdom tooth was a mature tooth and it was not necessary because the pulp was still vital. I did not need to do prosthetic restoration. As you can see, I didn't have to shape down any teeth. This is our 5D Japan original consensus, balanced, also gingival relationship and occlusal stability. We call it BOGR and OS. For BOGR, we emphasize the importance of osseous morphology, shallow periodontal pockets, soft tissue quality and quantity. And for these points to be stable in the long run, we consider the importance of occlusal stability. Let's look at another case. You can see on the left photo that the patient's upper and lower gingiva has receded on his left molars. I discovered that this recession was caused by poor brushing habits. 